Hi there. Um, <laughs> something just happened that is um, fairly blowing my mind. I just received an email from Dr. Stanley Roxon. He is the cardiologist at Stanford Medical Center who has been the initiator and really the impetus behind the research on the lymphatic system here in the US and actually globally. He's been involved with the Gordon Research Institute. He started the program in the lymphatic system. He's been um, uh, spearheaded with LEARN, the Lymphatic Symposium at the National Institutes of Health, NIH here in the US. And it's been an absolutely amazing ride for him. He is, um, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, they have just published a paper um, where um, they have identified the biomarker called, um, let me, let me hopefully be able to show this to you. I'm going to share my screen. Um, give me a second. And let me hopefully be able to do this. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, I got the paper. You know what? I'm just going to read this. Hold on a minute. Okay, I got to get back to StreamYard. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, this is the paper. Oh, why is it not? It's not letting me um, share. Maybe it will. Oh, wait a second. Okay, this is going to take me just a second to get to the right, if I can get to the right. Oh, my goodness. I give up on this, or at least on this. I don't give up on sharing with you because this is too exciting. So I'm going to find the paper and share it with you. Give me another second. I thought I had all this set up, but it's not because oh, there it is. Got it. All right. So I'm going to read this from the abstract. Um, Genetic or acquired defects of the lymphatic vasculature often result in disfiguring, disabling, and occasionally life-threatening clinical consequences. On the other hand, so he talks, then he goes on to talk about advanced forms of lymphedema. Um, they can be clinically diagnosed. As we know, lipedema has not been able to. On the other hand, lipedema, a chronic lymphatic microvascular disease with pathological accumulation of subcutaneous adipose tissue is often misdiagnosed as obesity or lymphedema. Currently, there are no bio biomarkers or imaging criteria available for a conclusive diagnosis. Okay, then he goes on to say, in this paper, we profiled and compared blood plasma plasma exomes isolated from mouse models and from human subjects with and without symptomatic lymphatic pathologies. We identified platelet factor four, which um, um, the abbreviation is PF4, as a biomarker that could be used to diagnose lymphatic vasculature dysfunction. Furthermore, we determined that PF4 levels in circulating blood plasma exomes were also evaluated in lipedema patients, supporting current claims, arguing that at least some of the underlying attributes of this disease are also the consequence of lymphatic defects. So what does that mean? That means that we are in the process of getting a diagnostic criteria where up until now, the only way we've been able to diagnose lipedema is clinically, by history, by palpation. But actually to have a clinical biomarker is huge breakthrough. And I'm happy to say my first response was congratulations, Dr. Roxon. 
My second was, will you come and share this with the community? Will you come and um, do a webinar for us? And so we're in the process of getting that set up. So I'm happy to say that Dr. Roxon is going to be um, coming to meet with all of us and share some about what this means for our diagnosis, treatment, and recovery from the disorder and disease of lipedema. So I am going to um, share this throughout the community, let people know that it's happening. And um, thank you. <laughs> Bye. I hope to see you tonight. We have a webinar tonight on keto and on carnivore. So I hope you're going to join us. Bye.